I want to update you on the bank robbery. Uh, News 12 did actually finally cover it, but disgracefully, they only they gave it very little time. Uh, and uh, we're going to go to this right now, and you'll see they, they just barely, 22 seconds, Home police and they didn't send the report. Bank robbery suspect in Carl Place. It happened at the Chase Bank on Old Country Road. They don't even have video from the scene. They don't even have video from the scene. A man approached a teller, demanded money. The suspect left with an unknown amount of cash. Anyone with information is being asked to call Crime Stoppers at 1-800-244-TIPS. So... This is all they have. It, 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 it's, it's ridiculous. You know, Bridgehampton, that's where they go. This also, let's see, they did actually cover this. They gave this a minute. Missing teens in Syosset. Let's see if they sent a reporter the to this. First facility, a nonprofit dedicated to helping children and adolescents who are the victims of societal problems. Police are looking for your help tracking down these four adolescents. Take a look. 12-year-old Dr. Tenta nope. Paggio Allo, 15 years old, was also seen yesterday in Syosset and could be also somewhere in Manhattan. And 15-year-old Kalisha Pierce. So she they didn't send a reporter either to that. Nope, that doesn't get a reporter. Nope, it doesn't. It doesn't. Uh, I'll credit them for going to New White Park. Uh, they did actually cover this. This was their lead story. They actually covered it. Once. And thank you for joining Lloyd us, Park. Samantha. And, and I'll give them credit for that. Action, so we can so they've the done a good job covering yard in New Hyde Park. the um, aftermath of Ida. Wednesday night, this is New White Park. Like. Yeah, there was flooding in New White Park, too. The floodwaters have gone, but the damage totals are starting to add up. We had so much stuff in here because we never thought that this would happen. Nina See, and her neighbors around Indian. the intersection of Oxford and Norman Street have never That's New White Park. Before. That's, uh, you know, Don't this is why we're being insurance. redlined, because we're but not white. It was a different kind of storm, dumping so much water on the area that it overwhelmed local resources and poured into homes and flooded some cars. Now Governor Hochul says she's sending help. And I'm going to sign this as we speak. So this can get right to so President she's trying Biden. to help the, the people. Signing a major disaster However, I'm hearing contradictions here about this. Could All right, but this is, uh, you know, I'm going to talk about her in a moment in this video too. But let's 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 read a better article on this bank robbery here that happened. All right, hopefully it's a better. Uh, this is a better. I mean, News 12 really. This is a big deal. All right, suspect at large after robbery at Long Island Chase Bank. A suspect is at large. So this happened 1.30, broad daylight on a Saturday, Old Country Road in Carl Place. A man entered the Chase Bank located at 400 Old Country Road, approached the teller, and verbally demanded money. The teller complied, and the suspect received an undeterred amount of currency before fleeing in an unknown direction. The suspect is described by police as being black, approximately six feet tall, with an average build, wearing a white hood sweatshirt, dark sunglasses, and mask and gloves. There were eight employees and three customers inside the bank at the time of the robbery. There were no reported injuries. Uh, and uh, this is the guy fled on foot. And who knows, maybe he boarded a nice bus. Uh, this is what we're dealing with in the middle of the island. I bet he's homeless. Probably. This is what they dump in our area, you know. This is what they dump. News 12, cover, they didn't send the reporter to any of these stories. And I don't think they even covered this one. Suffolk County man named... This happened in Spionk. Rape of and three counts of endangering the welfare of a child. Didn't cover that either. So they just don't want to cover the crime. So that's, that's the issue. Man driving erratically on the beach and then jumped into, into the ocean and drifted and swam for more than two hours. This person is in a mental crisis, apparently. News 12 didn't cover that either. They, they, so they just don't want to cover crime. And this is a big problem. Uh, this is a big, big problem. All right? And they just seem to want to gear to you know, a certain demographic. And we all know what's going on. And we all know that when we speak up about it, we get intimidated. Let me show you some of the intimidation I've been getting here on some of these videos here. This is not news. Eight dislikes. Even the, the fireworks got four. So this is the intimidation I get on my channel. All right. From these people. All right. Just for speaking up. And the trolls, of course, which are sympathetic to these people. They idolize this demographic. 
you know, they get to sit pretty in their enclaves. They get to sit pretty and have a great time. Like here in Rockville Center. Look at how this is a similar. This is like a Mexican place. All right. A Mexican place with a bar and everything. All right. Look at how busy it is. All right. Now let's take a look at Mineola. The same day. This was today. Look at this same place. Burrito Boulevard. They remodeled. Hardly anyone in there. All right. So this is exactly what I'm talking about. Everybody just is being conditioned to go to the South Shore. Uh, they're being conditioned to go to the South Shore. We get all the problems dumped in our towns. And that's what I mean by problems. Homeless people. No one on the streets today in Mineola again. No one on the streets. You know how depressing this is? Another look. No one on the streets here, too. This is what we deal with. So is it any surprise that we have cr criminals in our communities? There's no one even around. More homeless people. They're all over. Meanwhile, I go to Rockville Center... I don't see any homeless people. It's all, it's, all, it's, all, it's all great in Rockville Center. It's all great. But look at all the cars. They're all well, mostly luxury cars. In order to have a good life, you have to be a certain demographic on Long Island. You have to be a certain demographic of a white finance professional. Otherwise, you're going to be dealing with all these problems. And also, I was very upset about this. The Eisenhower Park fireworks, usually we get a big crowd. Usually, this would be full of people. We had a beautiful day yesterday. All right, it was well advertised, and hardly anyone was here. Uh, I'd never seen such a light turnout for this fireworks show. Look at how few people were here. I mean, this is unbelievable how few people are here. I mean, that used to be full of people. This spot, I remember getting there like two hours before the show started, or an hour and a half before this, and you couldn't even get in. There was too many people. It was full. They wouldn't even let you in. Here, there was hardly anyone. Unbelievable! Uh, what is going on in the middle of the island? I'm worried they're not going to have the fireworks show if 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 this if this low turnout continues. They're not going to they're going to do away with it. That'll be the next blow to the middle of the island. All right, you know it's just all about the South Shore. You know, I mean they're just continuing to do great on the South Shore. I mean their restaurants are full, and I'm on the outside looking in as a, as an outsider because I'm not allowed to be there. I'm not allowed to live there. Uh, because of my disability, I, I I'm not allowed to enjoy this happiness. I'm I'm kept in the, in the desert. I'm kept in the barrens. I'm kept in the wasteland that is the middle of the island. These are the barrens. Welcome to the barrens, folks. You know, be that, this is the woods and deer park. You know, I've called the county many times about this. They don't do anything. They don't do anything about it. They don't care. Because, again, they're only looking out for the South Shore. They don't care. Let's just dump the problems in the middle of the island. Let's dump this in the middle of the island, too. Homeless people living in the, in the shack. This is what it is. We're becoming a forgotten wasteland. And people think it's not happening, but it is happening. This is all part of the purge. This is all part of ha pushing us out. You know, all these new apartments they're building, like these new ones here in Rockville Center, you got to be a certain they're not going to rent the programs. So I'm stuck here. You know, in New Jersey, when they build apartments like that, a certain percentage, probably a third, I think, 30%, uh, is for people with disabilities, people, uh, lower-income people. But no, not on Long Island. No, we don't do that. It's only for a certain demographic. So my whole life, I've been an outsider because of my disability. I'm not allowed to join regular society. Or once again, I am cast away into these barrens, and it's depressing as hell. It really is depressing as hell. Uh, but I'm not allowed to be part of this uh, because of my disability. If I want to be part, uh, treated like an, a human being, then I have to go live somewhere else. I have to go live in New Jersey because on Long Island, it's just all part of this plan. It's all part of the plan that we, we're dealing with right now. Again, I got to deal with this. This is my town. This is Mineola. This is what it's like every damn day. And it's depressing very bad for somebody with mental illness. I'd much rather be around this. I'd rather be around life, but no, sorry. That's only for a certain demographic only. You know? And who knows if this plan is ever going to, uh, you know, ever go away. You know, I was really hoping the new governor, uh, she's only been in office a couple of weeks, uh, but I'm a little disappointed because she hasn't brought up the crime at all, not once, has she brought up the crime? And while she's been there for the storm recovery efforts, this is her Facebook right here. I'm really worried she's going to cater to a certain demographic. 
Um, I'm really, I'm really worried. Uh, and uh, they say, you know, and and she says. She never speaks about the people who died from the flooding. She doesn't speak about it at all. She just says, oh, I've signed a, dis a disaster declaration. But she never spoke about the people who died. All right? She never sent any prayers or anything. All right? Meanwhile, if you go and look at Phil Murphy's page, you'll see Phil Murphy has totally different. All right? You can see he's there with the people. You don't see this governor there with the people, all right? You see Phil Murphy there with the people. And here it says, I'm deeply saddened to report two additional fatalities, bringing our total to 27 New Jerseyans. He's, he cares about people. I'm worried that Kathy Hochul is just going to be the same old type of demo demographic. She's just going to gear to a certain demographic. She's not with the people. Here's Phil Murphy with the people. Phil Murphy cares about everybody. He doesn't judge somebody by how much money they make or what kind of demographic they are. He cares about everybody because that's the way it is in New Jersey. All right? Everybody matters in New Jersey. All right? But in New York, it's all about a certain demographic. You know? And look, I'm glad she's there helping people, but why is she has a lot of stuff here that has nothing to do with the flooding. All right? She has some uh, updates, and that's good that she had these press conferences. I'm glad. But... I just don't feel the compassion coming from her, like the compassion from Phil Murphy. You know, it just seems, it doesn't seem genuine. Now, it's early. All right, it's early. She's only been in office like two weeks, all right? But we all know the plan. And it's going to, and she know, and everybody is just, there's so much control. Wall Street just controls everything. You know, and they're redlining the middle of the island. They are redlining all the diverse areas because this is how you get rid of the disabled, the middle class. You just redline, redline all these areas. And then the areas that are safe, that are thriving on the South Shore, well, you're not going to be allowed to live there unless you're a certain demographic. North Shore, too, probably, all right? Not going to be allowed to live there. Sorry. All right? So you've been priced out. That's the plan. That's the crux of the plan. You have been priced out. And if you want to have a good quality of life and, 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 and not be in a declining neighborhood, then you're either going to have to be a finance professional or you're going to have to move to New Jersey. All right? And uh, that, this is why the plan is the plan. This is what I'm talking about with the plan here, uh, that it continues. Uh, the plan isn't that... I think that's what I'm going to put here. The plan is still very much alive. Um, uh, and uh, we all know where it's going to wind up. We all know where it's going to wind up, don't we? We sure do. It's going to wind up in New Jersey. This is the plan. At least in Tom's River, hey, all people are allowed to live here. It's not just a certain demographic. They welcome everybody. You know, and the downtown has been improving lately. This is what the downtown looks like. It looks pretty nice. So this is probably where I'm going to wind up. This is still possi a good possibility this is going to be my destiny. Because I can't deal with living in the ghetto. And this is what Mineola is turning into, unfortunately. Um, I know I'm going to deal with the heat and a bunch of other things, but I can't be around many of this, this stuff anymore. I just... I need to be somewhere that actually matters. Tom's River really looks nice now. Downtown, see? And everybody is welcome in Tom's River. You don't have to be... The new housing they built, they built new apartments. It's set, a lot of it's set aside for people with disabilities. Imagine that. No, they don't do that on Long Island, though. So, this is all the plan, folks. This is the plan, right? And we're going to deal with the crime... While the snobs sitting there on enclaves, thumbing their nose at us. And we're going to have a governor that's, maybe she's, she's just come on the scene. But we all know she's going to cater to a certain demographic. I, I'm getting that gut feeling already. I hate to say it. I really am. You know, and it's just all about a certain demographic. And if you're not a certain demographic, then you are going to have a continuing decline in your quality of life. You're continuing to have depression. Um, and this is affecting me because uh, I, uh, 
my mental state has been absolutely terrible lately. I mean, it's just been, it's been terrible. I mean, you're around all this negativity in your town. And it's not getting any better. It's only getting worse. And and you're not allowed to live somewhere that you need to live to improve your mental health. Not on Long Island, anyway. Uh, so, uh, that that's... I mean, look at this. This was a street view from I know. This was years ago, but... This is homeless people. I mean, this has been a problem now for a while. Homeless people. There's no life in this town. They built the Morgan Park... Uh, there's a lot of vacancies, and I have a feeling a lot of them are Airbnbs, too. We see the inferior infrastructure that we're getting. Uh, you know, it's just... The middle of the island is just done. Especially the middle of Nassau County. This whole corridor here, this whole mainline corridor here, it's just, you know, the crime is out of control. I mean, let's talk about all the crime that's been going on. Serious crimes like that shooting in New Hyde Park. All right? The News 12 still never bothered covering. Then we had the bank robbery in Call Place. We had some incidents in Hicksville, Newcastle, Westbury. Amazingly, not Mineola, but Mineola will be next. This is all going to be redlined. Maybe Williston Park, too. This is all just going to be, this is all part of this picture to just redline the whole, this whole area here. You know, it, this is what's going on. It's being redlined. Yeah, red light. People are saying, you're saying to yourself, oh, redlining, isn't that illegal? No, well, it is, but again, it's illegal, but you got to remember the laws are not enforced. So this whole area is going to, it's just getting redlined, except for Garden City. But this whole area here is just going to be one extension of Jamaica. You know, that's it, you know? And this is where they're going to put all the problems. They're going to put all the poop. Let's get the poop drawing here. We're gonna put all the poop in here. All right, all the poop, all the problems, all the homeless, mentally ill homeless people, all the criminals, all of it is gonna go right here. That's where it's gonna go, right here. Right in the middle of the island, all because it's not Lily White. And if you're disabled, you know, you're going to have to be here, too. You got a disability. Disabled. Middle class. Not white. Senior citizen. You're, you're, you're going to... This is what you're going to be relegated to. You're not going to be allowed to live in any of the better areas on Long Island. You're going to be relegated to this. And I really should put Hempstead in here, too, as well. This area, too, really is part of the... Oh, let me get this in red. This is part of it, too. This whole thing. Except for Garden City. It's all part of it. All redlined. Parts of East Meadow, too. Right? Maybe northern parts of Levittown. All redlined. All redlined. And you say, well, Farmingdale's doing great. Farmingdale's doing great. Yeah, Farmingdale's an exception, and I tried to move there when I was leaving Westbury. And I was denied an apartment. In fact, I was denied an apartment right around here. I was looking at a couple of houses right down here. It might be down here. Uh, they were renting apartments, and, uh, and they specifically said no programs. They specifically said that, no programs. It's illegal. You're not going to go anywhere. You're not going to get anywhere. All right. You know? Oh, yeah, I tried. I tried. But that's a middle of the island town that's doing well, so you're not going to be allowed to live there. Anywhere that's doing well, you're not going to be allowed to live. You're going to be stuck in, in the doom and the gloom. I had a rant because I'm just fed up with li being around the doom and the gloom. I have depression. I can't deal with this anymore. I need to be in the light, in the life. I can't be in this anymore. I want to be where it matters. So, sorry, I know this crime, this crime story turned into a bit of a rant, but I'm just tired of it. I'm tired of being forgotten.